all right y'all welcome back to the channel i'm valerie if you didn't know now you know <laughs> so as you can see from the title i'm about to get into how to choose a brand to rep on my last video if you haven't checked it out I posted how to be a Instagram model in 2020, guaranteed top five ways. Make sure you check that video out. I'll put a link in the um, description box. But yeah, let's get into it. Um, I got some notes here to help me keep on track. So pretty much if you're not familiar with brand repping or Instagram modeling, what you're pretty much doing is you are choosing a brand that you like on instagram a small shop these are typically small businesses new sh new businesses a small shop you are choosing them and you're basically asking them can i represent your brand and they in turn will say yes and they will give you some terms so a lot of times their terms are you have to give us quality photos in it um within seven days of receiving your product and you also have to post our sales our promotions or anything business related onto your page to help promote my brand and in exchange for that we'll give you a discount on the clothes and sometimes they'll even give you the clothes for free and um yeah that's the exchange there so you are giving them quality photos you're giving them promo on your instagram account exposing your audience to their brand and in turn they're giving you a discount on some clothes okay so that's what brand repping is and it's a good thing to do because if you rep with a big brand maybe a brand let's say you have like a thousand followers and that brand has like twenty thousand followers you take a really good photo they're going to use that photo on their platform and like 20,000 or more people because they're probably paying for a promotion to have that photo continuously be shown so people can shop at their shop is going to be um, so you know you're going to get people traffic through your page too because people are going to see that photo and come to your page okay so that's what brand repping is so now the first tip to finding a brand to make it beneficial for you because you, we already know that we're benefiting the shop by giving first of all sales we're benefiting them by buying things even if it is at a discount they're not going to give us a discount low enough to where they're not receiving any benefit for selling it to us right okay right so you want to figure out what your advantage is what's my advantage to this what, what am i getting out of this okay so that's what i'm going over and what I first decided is I want to rep for a shop that has 10K followers and up, okay? They need to, just for maximum exposure, like I said before, they need to have 10K followers. And if they don't, it's because some other special reason that I've rep for them. But I prefer for a shop to have 10,000 followers and up because... I need that exposure i'm new to instagram my baby um at royalty reigns instagram has maybe about a little over four thousand followers i would like to get the most exposure as possible okay okay so the second one on my notes is you in order to make you want to make sure that it is a legit operating business okay and in order to do that you want to check their website, make sure it has that, um, what is that, that lock at the top. So it's a trusted website. Make sure it's a secure website because you are putting in your credit card information, correct? So you, you definitely want to make sure that it is a um, trusted website. Also, check, a good thing to do is check and make sure they have a Facebook page that is linked to their Instagram page. I have a Facebook business page and I know that Facebook business pages require a legit Facebook business pages require for you to have um, a business license and to fill out some personal information, business information in order to offer things for sale through Instagram. So if they have a Facebook page and it has um, click to buy available on their page, that is a legit business. They are doing legit business 
more than likely and they're also able to then have um, click to shop on their Instagram page they also have the shop op option on their Instagram page so that's a good way to tell if the business is legit um, also check and see what type of payments that they offer on their website I prefer to pay with PayPal because PayPal PayPal offers me protection as well as the buyer so we're both protected if anything should go wrong um, I can just hit up PayPal and get my money's back, okay? Or just use your credit card. Dispute it. I love credit cards for that. I can just dispute it and they will take care of it, okay? Your bank as well. But definitely see what type of payments they accept, okay? Because I just had an incident with the brand. It was just a crazy incident where I noticed they didn't have a Facebook page. Um, they didn't have a return policy on their page they didn't have a turnaround time on their page um i was just so happy to rep for them she was such a nice lady and i failed to do my due diligence so we're doing due diligence today and but long story short i ended up having to dispute that charge with my bank because i never got the product and then people that did get their product said that it was made incorrectly because they were handmade items they were made wrong they didn't fit right it wasn't what they ordered it was crazy Okay, so the third thing that I would say is check for the shipping time frames, right? That's where I just got caught up. I didn't look on this lady's Instagram that for the shop that I was su supposed to be repping for. I or I didn't look on her website and see when her turnaround time is because she's making these items by hand. So I assumed that it would probably be like two weeks, at the most four weeks okay so i waited about four weeks and then i hit her up and was like where's my product where's my stuff ma'am i'm waiting and she told me that her turnaround time was six weeks and i'm just like six weeks like the term will be over by the time i get my stuff so definitely and then i looked on her website too to see when was her turnaround time there there's no turnaround time on her website there's none in her bio make sure you check and see what their turnaround time is you know because i bought um custom made things from people before and it took like two and a half three weeks at most and um one of the shops was lovely ada's boutique and you can look on my instagram page over at royalty reigns and you'll see some of the tops that she made beautiful tops handmade um her slogan is handmade with love and it, and it definitely looks like that when you receive it but yeah she made those tops and she got them to me in two and a half weeks they were beautifully made well made good quality fabric and her turnaround time is in her bio okay so and you want to look at the shipping time frames for other shops because a lot of these people that have these small shops are drop shipping. And pretty much what drop shipping is, is they have chosen a vendor in China, more than likely, and this, the vendors are shipping these items from China. But these sellers are showcasing these items on their website. So a lot of these, um, yeah, a lot of these shop owners don't have these products on hand okay so definitely check for the shipping time because it could take two to four weeks for shipping and maybe in two to four weeks the weather may be different in two to four weeks we're buying children's clothes in two to four weeks my child she's growing so fast she may not even be able to fit that so you have to take that into into consideration when purchasing and choosing sizes and the items that you purchase okay and if that's something that you even want to wait for because there are shops that offer items that are ready to ship. And I like those shops too, okay? So the fourth thing is you wanna check the prices. Um, the reason why I came up with that is because I rep for a shop that sold um, just infant things like teethers and things like that. And I was so happy to rep. This was like one of the shops I rep for when I first started. I was so happy that they asked me I was like, oh my God, they want me to rep for them. I must be special, you know, like <laughs> my baby's cute or whatever. So yes, I'm going to rep for you. Girl, I did not take the time to look at their prices. Like their prices were outrageous. 
for um a teether it was like twenty dollars and my rep code was only offering my friends and families like 10 percent off and i'm like who is buying a teether that they can go down to walmart and get for three bucks probably five max online and then also wait like five weeks for shipping their shipping time was like so long i even had to ask where's my product that they were sending me to rep I'm like where's my stuff like is it coming still or <laughs> y'all still think i'm cute <laughs> but yeah like definitely check the prices because i don't care if you have the money or not what's the point of you over spending on something that is not better quality okay it wasn't better quality it was the same thing that was at target and it was just cost more and it just didn't make sense and long story short i didn't finish that term with them because the prices were just outrageous and the shipping time was crazy okay so and then also with these shops that sell clothes a lot of these shops are selling the same exact thing they're a lot of them are they're probably using the same exact vendor so check the prices you know like Check the prices, check the discount that's being given to you, compare all of that before you decide which brand that you want to rep. Because even though you can buy these things from these people, from these sellers, these small shops, a lot of this stuff is available on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon for $5 and you can wait the same amount of time for shipping. And that's just that on that. The only difference is, is you're not going to be getting that exposure from that brand's Instagram page, okay? So that is the benefit for you is that exposure there, okay? So that's where we get into that exchange. So there is a benefit of purchasing it from the shops, and that is the benefit, okay? Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Also... I like to look for shops that offer things that are like originally made. Now that I'm speaking of that these shops sell the same thing, I've started to look for shops that have items that are different, you know, because I want to be different. We, we're not doing basic over here, okay? That's what we don't do. <laughs> okay, so um, now lastly, I like to say, Ask other people before you rep for this shop, go on their page, look at the people that have rep for them before that they've probably taken, you know, they've tagged them in the photo and just shoot them a quick DM like, hey, I see you rep for this shop before. Did you have a good experience? Do you recommend it? X, Y, and Z. Because the shop that I ended up having to dispute those charges, by the time I started DMing people about the shop, it was too late. I had already ordered, had already waited almost past 60 days where I almost couldn't dispute it with my bank to start asking questions. And when I did, people were saying, oh, it took me forever to get my product. Oh, I got my product, but it was made weirdly. It wasn't made right uh, and things like that. So definitely do not hesitate to send people a quick DM. The people that do this brand repping are very nice. I've had great experiences with the parents they are very helpful and they do not mind helping you neither do i slide into my dm okay i'm gonna help you out i'm gonna give you all the tips i got all the tea <laughs> but yeah you know what someone actually um dm'd me for my last video um uh, how to be a brand rep model and i gave her some help i was so happy like oh my gosh out of the 400 views i have somebody actually dm'd me Shout out to you, girl. And I hope my tips work. So, um, I'm going to give you a bonus, okay? The bonus that I have is, lastly, after you do all of that, after you've done all that due diligence, go, there's a Facebook page called Buyer Beware, okay? Check that Buyer Beware and make sure that shop is not on the list. <laughs> if that shop is on the list, run, sis. Run, don't do it. So that's my tip, buyer beware on Facebook. And those are um, the tips that I came up with from my experience of brand repping. I hope 
that they have been some benefit to you. Um, I'm going to make it go over and check on my Instagram page because there I recommend three of the top shops that I have rep for and I'll tell you why I recommend them and all that good stuff and I also have a discount for you. <laughs> so yeah, definitely check out our Instagram page at Royalty Reigns. It's been real. Thank you for watching. Until next time, okay? Y'all be easy. I'm out. Peace. Where are my notes? <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. As promised, I'm bringing you that video on how to find a brand to rep. Uh, it's, it's the perfect time to do it because my hair, I hate my, what is going on with this? Every time I turn around, it's doing something. <laughs> okay.